What up, what up, what up? Welcome back to our channel, guys. I'm Rod. I'm here with my dad. Rod Sr. And we are Bridging, Bridging the, the Gap. Gap. Yes, sir. The boys is back with another fire reaction video for you. <laughs> if you enjoy our reaction videos, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Also, drop a comment and let us know what we should react to next. Turn on your post notifications so you're notified every single time we drop a new video. And if you want to see our videos uncut and unedited and check out our Patreon, the link is in the description. All right, today, Dad, we are about to listen to a classic, uh, a unanimously classic uh, hip hop album in the discography of one of the greatest to ever do it, Jay Z's Reasonable Doubt debut album. What do you think about that? Reasonable Doubt. Yep. Jay Z. Jay Z. All right, I was yeah okay. I, I was kind of curious about Jay Z's other stuff. So uh, so far, what I've heard is yeah, it's been uh, he, he's okay. Nah, yeah, he's. Okay. <laughs> we, I mean, I, I, we listen to the Black Album. Jay Z, Jay Z is the bomb, but <laughs> I don't think I would just listen to him all the time like I would listen to some of the other ones. Though. Okay, well, you should change that because Jay. Maybe I should, I, I might albums. review. I got a, a lot to review, so you definitely do. I feel like you should definitely like go back through stuff because yeah. You, but you, I be going through my stuff, but I gotta take my time and let it savor, man. I just got to, you know what I mean? Yeah. And like to date, like uh, last week, I was I was I was like on a kick with a uh, 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 my boy uh, Mac. Okay, Mac Miller. Mac Miller. So yeah. this week I've been like on Tyler. I I heard you pull up with the <laughs> with the Tyler. Yeah, yeah bumping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Nah, you definitely Jay Z is one of the people you should definitely go back at least like just go through our videos and see like the, the parts where it's like you know what I mean that I liked that you liked you yeah, know and you then know. go back to those songs because Jay Z's really. got absolute classics but this is his mm -hmm. debut Reasonable Doubt June twenty fifth nineteen ninety six. Uh, this is his first album? First album. Wow. Yeah. Is it a video that go to, goes with this? Uh, he has he has some music videos for this. For I this. seen, I seen, I think you showed me a minute, uh, uh, a music video. It wasn't him. I don't know if it was featuring him or maybe he was in it or something. It might have been him mm -hmm. featuring, but uh, he looked so young, man. He's like. Oh, we did the uh, his freestyle on. On uh, Funk Flex, yeah. Hot 97, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. for sure. Uh, well, yeah, Reasonable Doubt is the debut studio album by American rapper Jay-Z. Okay. It was released on June 25th, 1996 by his own record label, Rockefeller Records, and distributed by Priority Records. Uh, features production provided by DJ Premier, Ski, Nobody, Clark Kent, and also includes guest appearances from Memphis Bleak, Mary J. Blige, Jazzo, and Notorious B.I.G., uh, the album features mafioso rap themes and gritty lyrics about the hustler lifestyle and material obsessions. Yeah. Uh, of course. <laughs> uh, opulence, Jay-Z talking his, his rapper stuff, but he, he's one of the best to ever do it. Uh, the production is like, I feel like Jay-Z fought somewhere in between like how, like Nas, when he debuted, he was super like introspective and like just talking about the block from this like really like intellectual kind of level, I feel like. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you had Biggie who was just much more gritty and street and kind of... Uh, <laughs> Just harder. Notorious was definitely a good name to describe. For Biggie, sure. Yeah, so. For sure. And Jay Z, I feel like he combined best, the the best of both worlds, like the the grittiness and the and the intellectual in, introspective intellectual. Yeah. So. Mm. Um, All right. Ah, oh, yeah. Here we go, man. Track number one, "Can't Knock the Hustle," featuring Mary J. Blige, produced by the Who Darian Sean C. And nobody. Here we go. Track one. <laughs> Pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't okay. even know who that is. Uh, that's funny. I don't know who that is. Okay. Uh, J Mary J. Blige and Pain in the Ass. Yeah. Can't knock the hustle. Here we go. <laughs> Can't knock the hustle. Track number one. What do you think about that one? I like the message. I like the beat. I like the whole vibe about the whole song. Mm -hmm. that was a new, I, I was surprised. I was thinking it was going to be... Cause you know a lot of JD Jay Z's uh, some of the music you've introduced me to has been like that big production sound like mm. you know and I thought that it was gonna be that and I was like man I want to hear something like funky gritty okay get, you know yeah, kind of yeah, get yeah. and that was it yeah for that sure was, that was it yeah that was definitely that that laid back 
some smooth mafioso come mm-hmm. through in a suit with the look at his uh album cover here. Well, this isn't the actual this is the Can Not the Hustle album cover. <laughs> well, that's his swag throughout the whole uh here we go. Here's the album cover. Oh, uh, okay. What do you think about the album cover there? Oh yeah, definitely gangster. Yeah, he's like he's like he look, yeah, like he's a, a mob boss. Yeah, or something, for you know sure. <laughs> He's got yeah. the ring and the cigar and tipping his top hat. Yeah. Looking yeah. fly. In the black and the white. Yeah, yeah. A uh, super clean. Like this. What do you think about the title, Reasonable Doubt? Reasonable Doubt. Okay, Reasonable Doubt is like, you know, you don't trial. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So uh, I guess um, this album is supposed to portray this album being Reasonable Doubt. You know whether you know he's gonna make it or he's not. Mm. Uh, kind of like okay. You know what I mean? He's like so. You the have album to... is on trial. This is his first album. Mm-hmm. You know, so we reasonable doubt is he's not gonna leave. You know, reasonable doubt that he's the best. Okay, I like that. I like that. <laughs> I like that. Okay, for sure. Right, right. <laughs> All right, cool. So that's Can't Knock the Hustle. Absolute classic off of here. We we're gonna <laughs> we're just getting started. Uh, we'll go ahead and move into track number two. It's titled Politics as Usual. Wow. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is track number two. It's produced by Ski Beats. That's fire. I didn't know. Ski Beats. Yeah, Ski Beats, man. I'm familiar with him from his work with uh, Currency later in his career, but um, okay, that's cool. <laughs> uh, Ski Beats produced this. Uh, yeah, so here is track two, Politics as Usual. Here we go. All right. You know how we do. Hmm. Rockefeller. That sounds familiar. That uh Forever. sample. Yeah. You can catch me skating through your town, putting it down. Y'all relating. No waiting. I'll make your block in for red hot. I'm like Satan. Y'all feel a nigga struggle. Y'all think a nigga little hustle behind the wheel. Trying to escape my trouble. Cause that's the greeting me. I'm talking sweet the keys. Cussing the very gun. Live for this reef to be. My life is based yeah, on sacrifices, yeah. jewels like ice. Here you get this way again. Yeah. You get your guys hit. They built me to okay. be on some ice. You got me on that yeah. shit. <laughs> the price of leather's got me deeper than ever. And just think when this here, I'm trying to fill me. Tax right off. You ain't seen money in your life when it comes to this cheese. Y'all like three blind mice. I'm bros who pump Willie. Y'all expose the furthest you chilies been in. The polka nose, my portfolio reads, use for life. Try, Jigga, I keep it tight. This beat, this beat is so hard. It's tough. Never would have thought that that sample would be used like this. Yes. Feel my pain, I'm lying. Low in the leather iron. The best is ever came. The game changes life. My mind just ain't right. We wind get this dope. I guess it ain't your night. Sucking me in like a vacuum. I remember telling my family I'll be back soon. That was December 85. And Jay Z rise 10 years later. Got me wise. Still can't break my underworld top. I wear black a lot in the act, act a lot. Got matching VCRs, a huge magnifier, 10 inch <laughs> green like spinach pop. I do that. Uh, Ain't no stopping the champagne from popping the drawers from dropping the law from watching. I hate them. Wow. <laughs> Politics is usual. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Listen to that, that beat, man. That bass. Yeah. Just talking to you, man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Talk a, bass. A Talk bass. Sing to you, too. That's yeah, it's, it's doing it, man. It's doing it. Oh, man. All right. All right. That's track number two, Politics as Usual. What'd you Whoa, think about that one? Two heavy hitters in a <laughs> row right there, man. But this is a long album. Yeah. There's <laughs> some heat over here. Uh-huh. There's some heat over here. <laughs> uh, so that you recognize the uh, sample here. Hurry up this way again, Stanley. I do it. I yeah. do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a banger. Yeah, um, yeah. That's bad. That's bad. Yeah, and his, uh, his, just, his rhyming, his laid back, just smooth, debonair bars. He's just... 
kicking game. Yeah, he did. He did. His bars are just <laughs> just so amazing. Yeah, I mean, he just. When I listen to this song, and I guess this is album in general, you know how when you like watch like a show or a movie, and it's like uh, like a time period piece where it's like in the eighties or in the nineties, and you, yeah. they they got they they make the sets look so real. You know, they made it today, but they make you know they got the TVs and the right. cars and everything looks like that time. When I listen to this and I hear him describe like he's talking about, he's got all the VCRs and the large Magnum matching box. VZ and getting the, box, <laughs> the green screen. Yeah, yeah and I'm just thinking like you know I just see him in this old school limo and I can just <laughs> picture him picking up the car phone and stuff. It just it just sounds like a a, a period piece when you're listening right, to it. It does. I didn't I didn't hadn't looked at it that way, but yeah, he does. Yeah. Quite, paint a good picture does for it? sure yeah he's at the tyson fight in vegas <laughs> i'm just like it's like the old vegas yeah right. uh, i wish man yeah this came out in 96 i didn't really get hip to this so i was he like he was just telling he's spilling the beans on this game man cleaning the money the tax right out <laughs> he just like well so <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you know uh i wish i would have been like <laughs> like Older when this came out, I feel like because I would have been, I would have liked to be like experience, uh, experience of life when this was popular. Oh it just sounds yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's just so fire. <laughs> I didn't really get hip to this until I was older, like right. after I already was like, I don't know, like an adult. So, um, <laughs> yeah, man, that's that's to watch stuff like this and then when, as it evolves over time and stuff like yeah. that to remember back then when it was right, like that. Right, right. It is cool, man, because I remember this one time when I was a kid and I was real young then. I was like, man, I'm out, I want to say about 10 years old or something like that. The first time I saw this guy, man, he had a he had a phone in his car. Yeah. And he had this big old um, Continental, uh, what they call Lincoln Continentals uh -huh, at the yeah, time, yeah, yeah. and man, he had this big. Old, his phone was about this big, <laughs> brick phone. Yeah, he had a big old poodle hanging out the window and stuff. <laughs> he stopped in front of his car. We was like, he stopped in front of the store where we used to hang out at, and uh, he just he man. I was like, everybody was like, whoa, yeah. whoa look at that man. Yeah. You know what I mean? We was tripping. That was funny. Yeah. Yeah, that was definitely these guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> cool, cool. All right, we'll go ahead and roll to the next track. This is track number three. This is titled Brooklyn's Finest. All right. And uh, when you talk about Brooklyn, you got to talk about the Notorious B.I.G. This is uh, Jay-Z and Notorious B.I.G. Uh, produced by Clark Kent. I am going to ask you who killed it better. At the end of this song, so at the end of this song yes. right here, between between Big and Jay Z, Big and Hope, yep. Mm -hmm. oh. Man, I ain't even got to put some though. respect on Biggie's name, man. I, <laughs> but it's Jay Z though. You putting him up against, and it's Biggie, <laughs> like, and and mind you, okay, at this time. Biggie is Biggie. Like, this is Jay-Z's debut. Mm -hmm. Biggie's already... Already made it. Popping. Okay. Like, okay. Out of Brooklyn. Like... Okay. All right. All right. Here is track three. But this is, a you know, a, a natural, born natural genius, though, right here. Yeah, and so is Big. Okay, okay. I'm going to give it a fair shot, man. I ain't going to oh try to be gosh. biased. Okay, yes. Uh, yes. I'm a, you clear know, slate on both clear, of them. Clear slate. Who... I promise Who you, killed I'm, it. I'm gonna tell the you the best one here. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Track three, book, Brooklyn's finest. All right. Okay, I'm reloading. <laughs> you motherfuckers think you big time? Question is, can the feds get him? Uh -huh. I got oh, he did some old high players. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck fist fights and lame scuffles. Uh, Pillowcase to your face, make the shell muffle. Shoot your daughter in the calf muscle. Uh, no. <laughs> Nickel plated, sprinkle coke on the floor, make, make it drug related. Uh, most hated. Uh, 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 While y'all punk uh, really, I run up and stunt silly. Uh -huh. Scared, so you sent your little mans to come kill me. Uh, uh, the contrary, I packs the Mac Milly, squeeze bracelets, frost bit, rings too. Niggas run away, call me okay. in blue sticks. Oh. Okay. Big smalls, nigga, shit your drawers. Brooklyn, represent y'all. Hit your forge, you crazy. Think a little bit of rhymes can play me. I'm from Mars, see, I'm varsity chump, you JV. Oh, Jay Z. 
nigga. Main man, my bed style flows malicious. Oh. Delicious. Fuck three wishes. Oh. My road to riches from 62s, gym stars, my mom's dishes. Great oh, chopping. Holy spear docking. These at my doors knocking. Whoa. Keep rocking. Yeah. No more mister. Nice got keys to your innkeeper. Oh. That's right. Chill oh. me. The bitch in the Shonies told me you're holding more drugs than the pharmacy. You ain't harming me, so pardon me. Pass the safe before I blaze the place and hit six shots just in case. <laughs> oh. Oh. They killing man. <laughs> they are killing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For nine six, the only MC with a flu. Uh -huh. It's gotta go, Coolio. Mean it's getting too hot. If they have twins, she probably have two pops. Uh -huh. Oh, platinum from the bronze. That bought a soft shit from that leather, leather on, on the bronze. A S1 diamond from my eye glass oh. A Sean Don sipper from a rose, nigga, huh? huh? Brook Nam, sipping on. Brook Nam. Play the crib when it's make weather. Uh. The mouth will give you up. Ooh. Oh. Jay-Z and Biggie Smalls, nigga, shit, you draw. Where you from? Brooklyn going out. Ah, uh, they probably would ride through New York City with that blast and singing that show. Bro. What's that sample you said? You oh, how I play. Fire players. Mm hmm. All right, that's track number three, Brooklyn's Finest, featuring Notorious B.I.G. What'd you think about that one, Dad? Man, um... Ecstasy by Ohio Players. Yep. Yeah, there yep. it is. <laughs> so anyway, um... Uh, man, that was, that, that was not fair. <laughs> Why? Because both of them killed it. Uh -huh. Now, if I'm going to be super, super analytical about this particular song, mm -hmm. I would say that Biggie came out just a little bit more on top only because Biggie's, Biggie's, uh, his, um, his rhymes, mm -hmm. they sound like when he, he Biggie's t talking from experience too, mm -hmm. but he sound like he got a little bit more experience in the street game than, than, than uh, Jay-Z do. Mm. Just okay. a little bit, just okay. a little bit, because Jay Z's deep in the street too. Yeah, but I think Biggie comes across a little bit more seasoned. Okay, just a little bit. Yeah, I think that's just kind of his delivery. I, I feel like that's just it. it Biggie's delivery it just sounds so like effortless. Like it just and it is. It, it was not that Jay Z's doesn't, but like Biggie's just just like like he could just wake up, roll over, and just kick the f most fire. F 16 you heard he could just lay right back down go back to sleep like it just that's how easy it is and that may be that may be the case and that may be what i what i hear when i'm listening i feel like that's it you know because um i don't know his, his when he was talking man his 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 gangster the way he he you know uh expresses his gangster lyrics mm -hmm. They seem like they're a little bit more uh, notorious. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> See, he he, yo, Biggie just has some wild lies. This is what he says. He's going to pop your daughter, daughter in the leg. calf muscle. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, that's, that's the first thing I caught when he in his song about him. I said, okay, he's going to start talking crazy. I know he uh, is. Because I still ain't forgot to throw him. I know, I know. Yeah. Throwing him over the bridge. <laughs> And, and, and in and Biggie's defense, in that rhyme, he says he he's got homies that will do that act. Okay, he, he wouldn't. That be doing makes it the better. He, he gonna tell somebody. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and this all is what he's right. actually oh, wait, gonna. Well, that's okay then. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what he was actually gonna carry out the act. On his own. <laughs> so I don't know which one is more notorious, <laughs> 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 calling the shot or actually taking the shot. I right, uh, uh, but yeah anyway yeah that, so so you're going biggie on that one yeah okay. I give him a slight edge uh, yeah but, but Jay Z did I mean Jay Z was right there you know him. when I was listening to it after you know I know I told you where I was gonna tell you to 
pick one. Now, after I listen to that song, the way they kind of go back and forth. Yeah, that's what does it. It, it, it kind of makes it a little harder to say, like, because yeah. they were both just in pocket and flowing like mm. right off of each other. So right, uh, right. But yeah, I guess if I had to choose on that one, I'm I'm going Biggie. On Biggie, that one yeah. Too. yeah. Okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. We'll go ahead and roll to the next that track. Was a good song, though, yeah. man. I like the way they use that Ohio players track. Man, they be doing some. I'll pick up these samples. I'm picking up yeah, on just like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you know I mean? <laughs> I've been noticing. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I wonder what that's like too, like because you know the original song. I, I mean, I just know these songs, and like right. every once in a while, I'd recognize an old sample, or I'll go listen to an old sample uh, after I, you know, this. The, like you're excited about these songs, so mm-hmm. I'll probably listen to a lot of the original. Man, songs. Yeah, go back and listen to it for Ohio's, sure, boy, that for boy, sure. Because, but I just wonder how it uh, just feels <laughs> like you're hearing it, and you're uh-huh. immediately remembering the original right, that you're right. more connected to. So that's cool. I yeah, like. I like that aspect of it because, you know, I've heard a lot of these, you know, and, the I'm, sounds, it, yeah. and when I hear them, you know, merge with the hip hop, right, I'm like, right. oh, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I never realized that song was going to be used like yeah, that, you know what I mean? So it is, it is fun to hear, man. I like, and it's fun to see what these guys do with these samples. Right, man. right. Right, how they it's flip like, them yeah. and, and chop them up, yeah. and, and the parts they repeat, you know, yeah. It's all right. That's, That's all cool. right. I like that. All right, cool. We'll go ahead and roll to the next track. This track number four, Dead <laughs> Precedence Part 2. <laughs> this is produced by Ski Beats. Oh, man, this is another absolute classic Jay-Z song. Ski Beats. Ski Beats again. Uh, right. Track number four, Dead Presidents. All right, bet. Presidents to represent me. I'm out for presidents to represent oh. me. Okay, some, let's start out with a mad beat right there. Who want a better step? We don't touch letters, stack chatters forever. Lip treacherous, so we accept us. To the death of us, me and my confidants. We shine, you feel the ambiance, y'all niggas just rhyme. Body yells don't accumulate like snow. We don't just shine, we illuminate the whole show. You feel me? Factions from the other side would love to kill me. Spill three you know this whole album by heart, street, don't you? A lot of these songs, yeah. <laughs> Love in his life in all possible ways. No defense is bugging my life. Hospital days reflecting when my man laid up on the uptown high block. He got his side sprayed up. I saw his life slipping. This is a minor setback. You're still in all we live in. Just dream about to get back. That made him smile though. His eyes said, Pray for me. I do you one better and slay these niggas faithfully. Murder is a tough thing to digest. It's a slow process. And I ain't got nothing but time. I had near brushes, not to mention three shots close range. Never touch. Me. Divine intervention <laughs> wow. can't stop by from drinking my ties with Tata down in Nevada. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Word life, but then I keep the trillion cut diamonds shining brilliant. Yeah. I tell you half the story, the rest you fill it in. Long as the villain win, I spin Japan yen. The ten major events catch me in the joints, convince my iguanas is biting. JNY hyping, controlling, manipulating. I got a good life, man. Pounds and pounds. No dollars make sense. Why you rap the bitch? Catch me swinging for the fist. Dead presidents, you know. Uh huh. Dead for open presidents to represent me. Dead for open presidents to represent me. I'm out for 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 dead for open presidents to represent me. So be it, the Soviet, the unified steady flow. You already know, I'm light, I'm heavy row, heavy dough, mic machete, your flow. Your paper full slow like the Betty. Mine's a steady grow, Betty grow, pay five in it for blow. Better believe I have 1160 to show. My dough flip like Tycoon, Jay Z the icon. Baby, you like dumb, making this crystals and changing life on. Roll with the winners, heavy spinners like hit records. Rockefeller, don't get it corrected. This shit is perfected from chips to chicks to scribbling a Lexus. Naked without your gun. We taking everything you brung. We caking. Your niggas is faking. We getting it done. Crime family. Well connected. JC. Yeah, you fake dogs is unplugged like MTV. Y'all empty. We taking treasure. My plan. Dead president jails. Politics is your child. Bow. presidents to represent me. Dead free open presidents to represent me. Dead free open presidents to represent me. Dead free open presidents to represent me. Man, he got some mad verses on me. Yeah. All right, that is Dead Presidents. What do you think about that one, Dad? Love the flow, man. Yeah. Love the flow on that. And uh, my boy just, he's spitting game, bro. Yeah. He's spitting, man. He just, his bars, his verses, his oh, his rhymes, uh, the information that he puts into his, 
you know, the message that he sent. He, man, he was talking. You know, people, people, I know these raps went over a whole bunch of people's heads, yeah. man, when he was talking about Japanese yen and yeah. Soviet unified. Yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like, <laughs> that went over a whole lot of people's head. You ain't gonna tell me it did. <laughs> but uh man, he's just he that flow it was man and, and and you know that beat doom 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 doom. Oh yeah. man, I like that. <laughs> I like that. So uh, That's, uh is this our fourth or third? Third Jay Z album? No, no, song. Oh, on this album. Song. Uh fourth. Fourth. Yeah. Four for four. Four for four. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. We'll quarter we'll quarter through the album. Uh, ye- no, it is fifteen tracks. So yeah, we're quarter through. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. So yeah, that presence, that beat, absolutely classic. People always rap over that beat. People always like freestyle over that beat. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think we've actually even heard J Cole rap over that beat. If if we listen to that mixtape, no. That was on the warm up that we haven't listened to, but Jay Z has or uh, J Cole. Oh man, yeah, J Cole has a verse over Dead President's ooh, fire. Ooh, I bet it is. I bet it is. Cole's passed over, <laughs> over this beat. Oh man, okay. it's so good. We gotta listen to that. But yeah, right, um, cool. yeah, Jay, so many bars on here. Uh, his delivery. I his, wouldn't even try to count them, man. I mean, it's just like one after the other. I mean, it really is the whole. Freaking song, yeah. It's I mean, just swag. It's just every all time every high on here. Every sentence, man. Every line. Every every verse. Yeah, this album is just like full of these just insane beat. Oh my god, I feel it. It's that. That's crazy. <laughs> like what? What is this first five songs? Like what? <laughs> <That's crazy>. What? <laughs> all right, we're gonna uh, get into oh, the next oh, track. I'm, I'm about to find out. Huh? <laughs> get into okay. the next track. All right. Oh, okay, okay. I wanted to ask you. This. What? So there's this silly debate on the internet uh, mm-hmm. about Jay Z, and uh, the the question is, it's it's been this viral debate for years now. Mm-hmm. The question is, would you take uh, fifty thousand dollars or dinner with Jay Z? Um. So I'm gonna pose that question to you. Dinner with Jay Z. Okay, and why? Because if I got time to sit down and get in front of Jay Z, then I got a I got a good possibility of making more than fifty fifty thousand dollars just by being in his presence alone. I could generate sort of like some media content or whatever. Okay, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. So fifty thousand dollars, I'm gonna have that and spend that. With, with sitting with JD, I can uh, Jay Z, I can mu- probably multiply that by having dinner with him. Okay, I like it. I like it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, yeah, that's been the debate. That those are the two. The some people are saying I'm just taking the money, and then some people are like, oh yeah, if I sit with Jay Z, I can you know pick his brain and right. just being seen with him would you know boost who knows y'all might profile. He might he might take a like. He might say like, oh man, man, you connect you know some mm-hmm. kind of way. He might just help you, you know, right? You know, because right. he's that kind of guy, right? You yeah. know, from yeah. what I've seen. Yeah. Well, um, so <laughs> yeah, Jay Z, Jay Z finally actually reacted to this <laughs> heated debate. Oh, really? He so he 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 was aware of the the, the, the debate. <laughs> yes, yes. It, it's it's kind of unusual for uh, things like that to get back to celebrities like it, because this is all a little sad talk. You know, out there in the public, you know. What yeah, I mean? but it gets to a point where it's so big, and if it's about you, right. you know what I mean. People around yeah, I get you it. I probably get it. yeah bring it to you. So but he, he so got yeah, he did a it. he did a, a recent interview with uh, Gail, and they were <laughs> going through his uh, library exhibit at, mm-hmm. at the Brooklyn Library or whatever. Right, and uh, she she brought it up. She was like, "So there's the age long question of dinner with you or you know fifty thousand dollars." Jay Z says that you should take the money. Uh, really? <laughs> okay, and that's not, but that makes sense coming from him, you know, from his perspective. And then his and then his also. So then she replied, "Well, some people think that they would be able to get knowledge from you." To you know, better their chances of success and think you know because you're so successful and blah mm-hmm. blah, and he says that I've already told you everything. It's in the music. There's 13 albums where I told you everything mm-hmm. uh, that that you would need to know, and I thought I just thought it was a. I don't think that's it true. Was a, it was a very. I, I wouldn't buy that though. Okay, why? I just. 
He can say that all he wants to, but he can't predict how an interaction is going to be in person. Mm. He just can't do that. That's you, you, that that's human nature is sort of like playing a part in that when you sitting face to face with someone. Now, you know, he might not, he probably saying that because he probably, man, I ain't got time to have no dinner with some some random, you know what I mean? <laughs> so he said, take the money. You know what I mean? There's so many funny memes too, because it'd be like, <laughs> I'm at dinner with Jay-Z and now y'all just, there's like this meme of, uh, uh, two people just looking at each other back and forth, but not saying nothing, just awkwardly. <laughs> They're like, "Yeah, this is this is me pissed off. I should have took the fifty thousand dollars because you just sitting there with Jay Z just looking at him." Oh. <laughs> and then the other meme is before he even answered the question. The other meme was like, "You showed up to the dinner. Jay Z's advice was to you was you should have took, took the, the money." money. <laughs> <laughs> nah, see, uh, see I'm, I think I'm still taking the dinner with Jay Z. I'm taking the dinner because I'm, I'm gonna dinner. tell you one thing, Jay Z. If I was in front of him, yeah. he ain't gonna be at the shit. I mean, look, but I will mess with him. Yeah. I will mess with him, yeah. man. Man, you ain't tripping today, man. I mean, for real, we talking. Yeah, you we, know, we right here, we yeah, having a good time. We gonna have some time. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's funny. I just thought I'd share that with you. That's um, the funniest thing. But yeah, anyway, we are going to get into track number five, feeling it. This might be my this might be my favorite track on this album. Really? Yeah. Uh, 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 can I live as fire? Maybe, yeah, feeling it. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, anyway, here's track number five, Jay-Z featuring Angela Mecca Scott, produced by Ski Beats. Okay. Angela Mecca. <laughs> okay. Well, Six and forever. Rock a block, rock a fella. I'm feeling it. Feel yeah. the passion. It's the real I'm feeling it. Feel the legs pushing up on the I'm side. feeling it. That's nice. Feel the heart yeah. that you get from the line. If you feel it, I keep it real in the most. I know you're feeling it. Crystals are nice. I like the toes. I keep on spilling it. Bone crushes. I keep it. If you feel it, even if it ain't sky. sunny, hey, I ain't complaining. I'm in the rain doing the buck 40 hydroplaning. What shorty? Wait, huh. disappear the sun. Maintaining, putting myself in no position. Most of these rappers ain't in. I'm living. The Ill Street Blues got your hunger painting. Nothing to gain in. The whole lot to lose. You're still singing. Ooh, I'm thorough and every burrow. My name be ringing. Warming it up for the perfect time. They hit your brain and you're feeling, feeling it. it. To all the girls, I bought a girl who took a silver my bricks. No doubt they could. My, my life is real as shit. 95 South and Poppy on the hill and shit. And all the towns like Cambridge that I kill with shit. And all the federal ass niggas that I hustle with. Throw your joints in the air one time and bust your shit. These fake rappers can't really know I'm loving it. <laughs> you feeling it? What y'all ain't sky. heard, that nigga J High. The crystals will keep me wet like Baywatch. I keep it tight for all the nights my mama prayed I stop. Said she had dreams a sniper hit me with a fatal shot. shot. Those nightmares, man. Them dreams that you say you got. <laughs> Give me the chills, but these meals, well, they make sober mind to cut through. I get the zone in. Me yeah. and the chick on the island and we're boning. I free my mind, sometimes I hear myself moaning. Take one more tote, then I leave that weed alone, man. It got me going. Shit. All right, that is track number five, Feeling It, featuring Mecca. What'd you think about that? Nice song. Yeah. Nice melodies, nice vocals. That piano carried the song. Man. Dun, 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 uh, yeah. dun, 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 it's tight, ain't it? Oh, I love that piano. It's tight. So good. Yeah. Um, again, Jay Z came through, man, with the bars, man. I'm just like, as soon as you think he killed one, he just keeps on putting it on top of each other. Boom, yeah. boom, boom. You know, he's just. He's killed it. Yeah. So uh, just I don't know. Th thinking about what he said about like all of the stuff is there, right? Okay. So uh, what does he say? Da, 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 da. If every nigga in your clique is rich, your clique is rugged. No one, would, nobody will fall because everyone will be each other's crutches. 
surround yourself with the, the people you surround yourself with is important. You know, that's a, that's a, that's a drop in a gem right there. I hope you fools choose to. Li- uh, yeah, yeah. I hope you fools choose to listen. I drop jewels. You know, and then uh, yeah, another bar. What he says. Oh, I just thought this just brought it like a, another uh, dimension of just how real his story is. He mm-hmm. says, uh, warming it up for the perfect time to hit your brain and you're feeling it. To all the girls that brought a girdle to conceal my bricks, no doubt they could vouch my life real as shit. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I, just, I was picturing these girls and yep. uh, tie the bricks up, uh-huh. like, and give them a kiss on the cheek, yep. get them all strapped up, they come back and they bread. <laughs> Like, dang, Ho was really doing that. Yeah, man, that's wild, isn't it? That's just, I just see the visual, it's just dope. Like, that's wild, though. That's <laughs> trip, wild. That boy up. was going after that he money, boy. He was going it. after that money. He wasn't playing <laughs> at all. He wasn't playing at, at all. all. And he had just like such an ill plan. Like, okay, I'm doing this. I'm in the streets. We build this organization, but I'm Jay Z. I'm, I'm, see, I'm, but don't that. Only in New York City, though, man. Yeah. Oh, that's another point I was going to make. This album just sounds like, just like New York City. Yeah. It just sounds like... Uh, that's where that's where it would go down. If anywhere else, yeah, it would yeah, go down yeah. like that, the right. way he described uh-huh. it. Yeah, that's that's the spot. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> it's like power. Like It just reminds me of like, <laughs> some power shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but in the 90s, they didn't make a Jay-Z... Uh, like, like how they did 50, 50 Get Rich or Not Right, Try. right. They did, they did a Jay-Z movie Oh, yeah, that would be... Sure. Oh, man. That would be fire. His story's crazy, too, with his whole. Depending homies. on how much he want to tell. <laughs> he done told it all already. We yeah, know, but put, we it know on, so much. Putting it on the screen is a whole it's new It's the world, same though. thing. Uh, now, when you visualize it... It's the same it, thing. It strikes people more when it's you art. visualize I, it, though. I, uh, maybe, to me. Maybe, I don't know. He's, we it know, will be everybody good. Everybody knows all the stories already. Well, then, think. if he does it and he puts it on the screen... He's just waiting for be, that moment. It's going to be like... I don't know what moment he waiting on. He's already a billionaire. Just go for it. You know? Maybe the story not over yet, you know? Yeah. But maybe, nah, maybe. I, I, I think a, a, a story like specifically from from his days in the streets up to his like rap career and then now he's a mogul and you could just have mm-hmm. that tailing off at the end. Right. That'd be fire. That'd be like, perfect. Yeah. yeah. Be, oh, man, I, I could live with that. Yeah, for sure. All right. Mm-hmm. Come on, Hove. Come with that. <laughs> be a pause and check out the Jay-Z yeah, uh, cool. biopic. Cool. <laughs> we'll move into the next track. Uh, track number six is titled The Evils. This is another one of them joints. It's more like an album cut, but I, I really like this song. Uh, and this is produced by DJ Premier. That's, mm. that's probably why I like it so much. Oh, okay. <laughs> DJ Premier. We've heard we've heard Premier plenty of times. He is synonym, synonymous with hip hop. Okay. When it comes to production. All right. Uh, track six, The Evils. Oh, they got Snoop on there? Yeah. Prodigy is from a, a, a group from the 90s called Mob Deep. Uh, okay. That Jay Z will eventually go on to beef with. Oh, really? Yeah. The shit is wicked on these mean streets. None of my friends speak. We all trying to win lethal. Infected with the evil. Wow. Right. That's deep. That's real talk, though. That's deep. For him to, oh man, this is like a genius. This is genius writing. Kidnapping his baby's mother, running around the collar, feeding her cheese. She said the taste the dollars was shitty, so I better fifties. About his whereabouts, I wasn't convinced. I kept feeding her money till her shit started to make sense. Whoa. Who could ever foresee? We used to stay up all night at slumber parties. Now I'm trying to rock his wrist to sleep. All the years we were <laughs> real close. Now I see his fears through her tears. No, she wishing we were still close. Don't cry, it is the beat. Telling you everything. Yeah, my flesh, no nigga could out. test. My soul is possessed Jay, by the evils Jay's in the telling form of diamonds and Lexuses. The expert, he'll never testify. The evil. Woo! All 
All right, that is track number six, The Evils. What do you think about that one, Dad? That song was appropriately named. Yeah. That song is evil. Yeah. It's, it really is evil. It's deviant. Yeah, it's deviant. But this dude, man, he be telling some stuff. He yeah. be telling some stories, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it just it, it left me in awe because I'm like, damn, he did all that. Yeah. He like, I mean, he's in he's, he, he he explains his mindset that when he's doing it, he's telling you why he's doing it. Mm -hmm. He he realizes mm -hmm. what he's doing wrong, and but he's he's going out. He's like you know, I'm going for mine. Yeah, like his first you verse know? is definitely breaking down like his the like being in the game. This bar he says about uh, um, where is that? No, I can't find it, but yeah, like him breaking down being in the game, trying to win. And then the second verse talking about like a guy. Oh, there we go. We used to fight for building blocks. Now we fight for blocks with buildings that make a killing. Mm -hmm. And then he goes into the story about like his. His, he had a ton against friends yeah, and stuff. He friend. said he had to get a black heart. Yeah, yeah. You know that. Uh, <laughs> so to me, when somebody say they got a black heart, man, I mean that's like somebody that was, you know, some people. That was probably real dear to him. Mm -hmm. That he just went cold blooded on. Yeah, him. facts. You know what I mean? Facts. That's deep. That's deep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the evils. A very deep track. The writing on there is just immaculate. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it, it is. It shows good. just how how sharp his brain is. Whew, man. Um, track number seven is titled Twenty Two Twos. Mm. This is produced by Ski Beats. Here we go. Yo, what's up, everybody? This is Maria Davis, Mad Wednesdays. We here tonight to have a good time. <laughs> Wait a minute. Nice. I see my man over there, Jay-Z. Jay-Z, Dame Dash, let me hear that little tape of yours. And it's fat. Y'all yeah. motherfuckers must have hear that trap call question. Let's do it again. <laughs> can I kick it? Yes, you can. Can I kick it? Can I kick it? Can I kick it? Can I kick it? Check this out. <laughs> too much West Coast dick licking. And too many niggas on a mission. Doing Whoa. your best JC rendition. Too many rough motherfuckers. I got my suspicion that you're just fishing a pool of sharks, nigga. So I change styles every two rounds. <laughs> <With the laughs> That's 22 tunes for y'all motherfuckers out there. You know what I mean? Not me. <laughs> Shall I continue? Check it out. What? Can I kick it? All right, that is track number <laughs> seven. 22 uh, twos. What did you think about that one, Dad? Oh, man. Another good song? Another <laughs> banger. Yeah, yeah. Another sure, one. Yeah. What are we on? Six or seven? It was seven, yeah. Seven? Mm -hmm. Seven in a row? <laughs> no, this, this, this is, that's why this is a classic. Like, this is a... That's damn good. I like the skit part. I like the beat. Um, again, he's telling, he's spitting a lot of knowledge out. Yeah. I mean, it, it's just, it's really good. I feel sarcastic. Look at him. Still Yes, that, that cracked me. That cracked me. <laughs> I love that line. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I like the Richard Simmons ones. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ooh. Yeah, he, he wouldn't probably, be able to say that. He get canceled today. now. No, you he know, would he, not be able to say that. He would cancel Jay-Z. Jay-Z don't care anyway. Jay-Z would not say that <laughs> because he would definitely. <laughs> They ain't gonna cancel it. I mean, if he did it now, I bet you he'd be like, you know, how you gonna cancel a billionaire? Yeah, <laughs> true. It would blow yeah. over, but yeah. they would try to for a little. Oh, while. they would give it a good shot. Yeah, I'm sure it it'd just bounce <laughs> off of him like <laughs> Teflon. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. Oh, that was annoying. It was more of an annoyance than anything. Yeah, for sure. All right, cool. We'll go ahead and roll to the next track. It's track number eight. Title: Can I Live? Produced by Irv Gotti. Uh oh, <laughs> I like her for sure. Uh, yo, this is bad funny. Okay, so 
on Dead Presidents, the sample he samples Nas, who he ends up going on to end up beef with. They have a they had a huge beef. We've listened to their diss tracks to each other. Right. Uh, he also sampled uh, Prodigy on that other song I pointed out, and he goes on to have a beef with Mob Deep. Um, <laughs> and then like Irv Gotti, I don't know if they had like I don't think they had beef, but like. Hmm. Irv, Irv goes on to beef with 50 and them. So I don't know if that... Man, I don't think they really had beef. Okay. But I just thought that was interesting that he had those two rappers that he had sampled that he goes on to beef with. Beef with. Yeah. I don't know, man. It sounds like to me that back then, if he's having beef, man, Jay-Z still up to some of his... Uh, <laughs> You know, mobster kind of ways, man. <laughs> Brothers probably didn't like that. They didn't take it too well. They ain't back down from him. Right. So, you know, here, hence, you know, the beef, mm-hmm. you know. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Uh, I definitely think, um, oh, man, it was just some great moments for hip hop music. And I'm mm-hmm. glad that those beefs never like went too, too, went too far. Too crazy, you know. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, Mob Deep, those were like street guys. They were in a rap game. They was, they wasn't mm-hmm. nothing to be like, you know, taking lightly, taking lightly yeah. at all, and Nas, yeah. same, same, same thing. thing That's know? what I'm so, saying. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> you know, it's kind of. I bet you any kind of money I called it correctly, man. I wish I, I could prove my theory, man, because what? I'm telling you, I'm thinking that these two guys, the the beef, the two beefs mm-hmm. you described, me, mm-hmm. I believe that you know. And it's two sides of every story, but I think that Jay Z had not dropped his little mobster kind of scheme and kind of ways, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. these brothers was calling him out on it. Yeah. And then you know, <laughs> Jay Z flex, they flex back. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I mean. And then it turns into <laughs> now we beef and going right, back right. and forth. Okay, cool. That's probably what happened. Well, uh, yeah. So we'll go ahead and roll to track number eight. Can I live? Produced by Herb Gotti. Herb Gotti. All right, let's hear it. Herb. Yeah, that's my favorite one. Yeah. Oh, I heard. Yeah. I think I heard it before. Fella, we invite you to the sample. Something epic. Oh, that's uh, Isaac Hayes right there. Yeah. 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 Where we hustle out of a sense of hopelessness. But I'm, I'm thinking of I, the song sounds song? familiar. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I heard it off of when I watched the Irv Gotti uh, movie. Sort of like the Maybe. We accustomed yeah. to serving. Yeah. Yeah. We feel we have nothing to lose. Everything so we offer you, well. We all our lives. That's uh, the look what of love, to the Isaac Hayes. While I'm watching every nigga watching me closely, my shit is butter for the bread they wanna toast me. Whoa. I keep my head both of them where they supposed to be. Holes that get you sidetracked and clap from close feet. I don't <laughs> sleep, I'm tired, I feel quiet like sleep. codeine. These days a rubber got him with my me from four fiends away. My pain when shit was quick to see. From selling cane to brains with fries to a fricassee. I can't lie, at the time it never bothered me. Whoa. At the bar, getting my dog on properly. Speaking the NXS rental. Don't be fooled, my game is mental. We both out of town, dog. What you trying to get into? <laughs> Viva, Los Vegas, see ya later at the crab tables. Meet me by the one that starts a G up. This way, no fraud, Willie's present, gambling, they re up. And we can have a pleasant time sipping margarita. G G G. Can I live? Can I live? My mind wow. is infested. With sick thoughts to circle like a Lexus. That beat if you're wrong, it's sure insane. to hurt you. Do it like new flexes. <laughs> and unity, my crew and me commit. We all fiends gotta do it. Wow. Even righteous minds go through this. Go, violin. The street yeah. schoolers to spend our money foolish. Sing it. Watch for intruders. I stepped it up another level. Meditated like a Buddhist. Recruited Ooh. lieutenants with ludicrous. Dreams are getting cream. Let's do this. It gets tedious. Yes. So I keep one eye open like CBS. See me stress, right? CBS, all right. Can I live? Real clever, Jay Z. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hear you. Can I live? 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 Did they bring it back with uh, the like? Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, All right. Oh my God, that, that is so so, so man, nasty. Oh, so, you know what? You know what? I'm gonna tell you something. 
um, this song right here, yeah, it sound like this came. He sampled that from Isaac Hayes, right? Uh-huh. Isaac Hayes band sounds exactly like this. Yeah, it looked like he he he, he pulled Isaac Hayes band, his whole <laughs> the whole band, yeah. everything, the violins, all of that. Yeah, it sound like. I was his man playing for Jay Z. <laughs> I mean, it was just like he captured the whole feel sure. of the sample. Yeah, yeah. And he's yeah. like, hell, I'm gonna use like he, he probably thought, man, this is so cold. I'm gonna use like 85 percent of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other 15 percent, I'm gonna play with, right, and make it mine. Uh-huh. Man, that but that that was killer. Super killer. Those bars are so smooth on here. He just that beat. <laughs> And then it ain't even the last one. So I keep my eye open like CBS. <laughs> he, yeah. I mean, he don't even wind down. He I mean, even when he's ending the song, yeah. he's he's ending it hard. <laughs> you facts, know what I mean? Facts, facts. For <laughs> That's sure. pretty darn good. Yeah, I hope they, <laughs> Jay Z, yeah, man. Pretty darn this good, is the man. first joint out the gate. This is how he came, like oh, this is how he came into the game. Like how you drop this is your first man. Okay. Yeah, I know. Like, like, <laughs> that was seven or eight. I'm, I'm losing count. Is, that was eight. Damn. That's eight. That's eight straight now. That's a fact. That's eight. Uh, th- yeah, that's eight straight. That's a fact. I ain't had. I haven't heard one that said. Eh. No. Nah. nah. I don't think. I don't think there is one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's got to be one. Uh, Sixteen songs. It's, it's got to be one. All right, we'll go ahead and roll into the next track. This is titled Ain't No Nigga, and it's featuring Foxy Brown, produced by Jazz O. Have you ever heard of Foxy Brown? I was going to ask you, is that the old Foxy Brown used to make the movies? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Uh, that's a, I think that's who she named herself Named herself after. after. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. no, I'm not familiar with her. Yeah, Foxy Brown, uh, one of the pi- pioneer women in rap, mm. I would say. Mm. Okay. Um, she was popular around this time. Yeah, she's dope. All right, here is track number nine, Ain't No N-Word. Went into some four top, and he's rapping on top of it. You like playing with Bobby and Kenny. You can't change a player's game in the night. The chrome rim spinning keeps him grinning. So I run, wait a fuck up in him and wrinkle their face like linen. I play hard until they say God. He's keeping it real. Chicka stay hard, Lord. Don't even. And I raised you, basically made you into a dog. Oh, Foxy. Away, hair on the shit. You know the pussy is all that. That's why I get baguettes, five carrots, and all that. From Doshe, got born of the H. Bendel. I'm ringing bells. So who the player? I still uh, keep you in the indicators. <laughs> Tell me so we can lay up in the shade, She's reminiscing on how I fuck the best shit. Especially <laughs> when I'm flipping bellies. Don't give a fuck on how you move with them other mommies. I push the Z, eating oh, shrimp, skin, be with rocks, larger than okay. life. Fuck them Reebok, you made it known yeah. with the white blood. <laughs> I got you fronting in Armani sweater. Before this rap shit when you was in levers and bullshit Berettas and E-classes With more when the glasses shows in Cali With all the flavors so many valleys Now all your mints is up in your bins is hot poles I swear you be killing me playing this I'm a pubic ears I never worry about yeah. the mother chicks Cause Say you proved who yeah. was your wins when you was spending that bitch I tripped a little Whoa. when you was up north Your commissary stay uh, pallet How you living large on the attic All the collects had me vexed But when you come home knew I was coming off with half of them checks oh. Now we on the ride Your 
diamond mommy with the slanted eyes Holding this brick, cock the end, gleek, get your shit Fuck uh. snow, I see half of that dough Made you into a star, push a hundred thousand dollar cars Ain't uh. no nigga like the one I've got No one can fuck you uh. back She ain't playing, yeah, she went all the way off She had a cool, long ass verse Yeah, yeah, she killed that Why you tell me I should leave you alone? Tell the freaks to find a man that ain't on Man that ain't on Man that ain't on All right, that's ain't no nigga. What do you think about that one, Dad? That was cold. Yeah. It was uh, to me like I just love the way they they uh, the uh, the way they 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 use the samples. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I mentioned that as the song was going, but the way they mixed those you know mixed in those uh-huh. samples, yeah. I would never put those two songs together <laughs> on one song. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't imagine it to be on one song. You yeah. know what I mean? And so it was. That was very creative. So the melody from the one song, and then the the instrumental from the other from song. the other yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, "Damn, that's cool." That's dope. And then it was, the overshadowing thing about the whole song is, mm-hmm. is the bars on this mug. For sure, <laughs> man. Yeah, that was going off. So so Jay Z went off. Yeah. But then this little Foxy Brown, uh-huh. <laughs> man, she was aggressive, confident, fly. Yeah. She was all of that. You she hear me? All of that, for man, sure. <laughs> that girl wasn't playing. She wasn't playing she, at all. Oh, I like her. I like her style. She she was cold blooded. That's Fox. That's the uh, original Foxy Brown right yeah, there. Pam Grier. Pam Grier, yeah. For her to take on that name, boy, she had a she better had to represent because Fozzie Brown was man, she was the girl. She was fire. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> she don't play, man. Yeah. I mean, she was very impressive, boy. She she brought her A game. Yeah, for, for sure, real. she did definitely. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah, uh, that was a definitely a popular song off of this album. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like when I be listening to this album, I kind of skip that one, but for real, yeah. Two. You gotta hear skin tight, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Pull up skin tight on the Ohio tight. players, man. I'm digging Ohio players. I definitely gotta get more into their discography because yeah. I actually I like a bunch of their songs already. I feel mm-hmm. like there's probably some some other heat I'm missing. Yeah. Uh yeah. all right, we'll go ahead and get into the next track. This is track number 10, titled Friend or Foe. And this is produced by legendary DJ Premier. Uh, here we go. Track 10. Friend friend foe. Foe. Uh-oh. Yo, I just came from outside. It's crazy money out here. We ain't got to break these shits down. We can sell weight. But this Jay-Z nigga, he got this shit locked down. Oh, Jay-Z who, the rapper? Yeah. In my lifetime, nigga? Selling fuck out. That's skinny nigga on the boat. You front. Get the fuck out. Ain't no rapper. But they dope for shit. You went to prison, though. And I like it. But fuck with the big dog, Joe. I gotta bite you. Look, it's out of my hands. And you get money round here, it's not in the plans. Don't hop your ass out of that van, head back to Kansas. My crew, well, they do pack. Them dudes is murderers. So please, would you put your hand back in sight? They don't like to see me nervous. You can understand that, right? You draw, better be Picasso. You know the best. Ooh. Except this is not so, huh? God bless. You leave me no choice. I leave you no voice. Believe you me, son. I hate to do it just as bad as you hate to see it. <laughs> Track number 10 for their phone. What'd you think about that one, Dad? He said he ain't gonna stop no rapper from getting his money. The rapper stopped him from getting his money. <laughs> he shut that down. Roll his butt up in there. <laughs> and uh I'm you lucky I ain't you ain't dead. I ain't kill you. Yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> let, let you get go. up out of here, man. Go on back to <laughs> that little hole you crawled up out of. <laughs> Try to be messing with the big dogs. Yeah. You're gonna get bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that. That was yeah, I love that track. I think that beat is super dope. Yeah. DJ Premier. And he tells that really cool story. That He's, was fire. And, and the Picasso thing. You, you better be the best. <laughs> You, you he said, be, if you draw, you, draw, you, you better, better be Picasso. Picasso. Yeah. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. That's why. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, nah, he went <laughs> off. That was short, too, but he, he, he did what he needed to do on that one. Ah, oh, man. That I was, love that, that track. Was nice. I love that, that was track. nice. <laughs> cool. I'm going to move into the next track. This track number 11 is titled Coming of Age, featuring Memphis Bleak uh, and produced by Clark Kent. And, um, yeah, here is track number 11, Coming of Age. Memphis Bleak. Hmm. Yeah, that's Jay-Z's right-hand man. That's his dog. Is it? Yeah, man. Okay. 
He says, as long as I'm alive, Bleak will never be broke. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this hey. is bad. All right, here's Coming of Age, track 11. Hey. Yeah. Come experience. He likes a salad profile. I think Damn, I didn't think the thing was going to get no better, man. man. <laughs> Whoa. He's talking, I'm the hottest nigga in New York. I see his hunger pain free up again. I see myself Whoa. in his eyes. I, I like the change up, man. Now yeah. yeah. it's diamonds like Liberace. That's just a natural cycle. Nobody want to be like Michael where I'm from. Just yeah. them niggas who bounce from a gun. We out here trying to make our white in the cold green. I can help uh, shorty blow out like that. That's rad music right there, boy. Yeah. 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 Right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. The only thing I got in this world is my work and my nuts, and we'll break them for nobody. From now until death, do what's possible. I was such a dope homie cut. Man, that was stuff right there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a tight song. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I know, oh right? Oh my god! <laughs> right. I could definitely hear uh, that Kanye was influenced by Clark Kent. Oh, is that right? Production style. Ah, uh, okay. Oh okay. my god, that beat is. Crazy covered of age feature of Memphis Bleak. What do you think about that one, Dad? Man, what was this number nine? This is nine. No, no, no. This is it's eleven. Ten. We left. Yeah, oh, yeah, whoa, yeah, whoa, yeah. whoa. Enjoy oh, while you can. We got lost in this one. I got lost in this album, man. <laughs> I didn't. I thought we were still on nine. Yeah, Doc. eleven. Shh, man. Covered of age. Memphis Bleak. Jay Z. I didn't. Like I said, I. You know, when at the beginning, I said, okay, we had that first three or four in a row, and I said, oh man. He's not gonna keep this up. Yeah, he's kept it up and gotten better. To me, I mean, it's just I don't know if it's it's just so. It's everything was good on here, man. Yeah, everything. I love his. You had one song you didn't like though. Uh, said, uh well, it's, just, it's not you that say I you didn't like, like it, it but, but yeah, I just always skipped the one with Foxy Brown. Yeah, uh, but I know that that was like that. That's. That's a hot joint. Like a lot of people like that song, but mm. this one is just dope. I'm just <laughs> listening to it. Like with the, again, I always say this. I've heard albums, but then when I sit down and listen <laughs> with you and we're reading the lyrics, it just certain songs will stick out, or, or I'll peep more to it. You know, and, yeah, uh, especially he, when you started reading the reading lyrics. The lyrics yeah. yeah. So Jay Z is just the big homie to Memphis Bleak, and he's just putting him on game. And right. He's just and Memphis just like pledging his loyalty, and like, yo, I'm down. Yeah, down yeah. With he's gonna get. He's gonna give him some. He's gonna get him paid. And he's now, nah, man, I ride with you for yeah, free. Facts, <laughs> facts, facts. Yeah. So so Memphis Bleak would would take the dinner with Jay Z. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he would. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure, good one, and good it one. looks like it's paid off for him too. <laughs> Definitely, Memphis Bif- Bif- Bleak. They said Jay also said uh, something about he don't even gotta sell another record, or something like that. Memphis Bleak actually got some. Oh pretty... man, they must be real cool then. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Him to say that he put him in position. Memphis Bleak had a you know a pretty decent rap career. Like he's got some like classic joints. Memphis Bleak got some joints for sure. Like mm. that's like oh yeah, I remember that song. Like, <laughs> All right. Obviously, he wasn't no Jay Z, but like right. he he put him in position to you know make a name for himself, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, that's cool. I like that song. Gave me a new appreciation for it this time around. That that song was, it yeah. was just and that beat, man, that beat is 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, that was yeah. sick. And then that was that, that snare. It was simple. <laughs> it was a simple like drum pattern, but it was just like, yeah. oh, it was yeah. just clean. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, that's fine. Clark Kent, way to go. <laughs> we'll move on to the next track. This is track number 12. Damn, I don't know what's the hardest beat on here. It's so All these beats are so fire. Yeah, that, yeah, that yeah. one, I don't know. That one, I feel like that one is a slept on one for sure because you got like Dead Presidents, Can I Live, Feeling it like those are like the ones a lot of people know. Politics uh-huh. as usual. I, don't I feel see like how, coming of age is a sleeper. I don't even know how that one didn't rise to the top either, though. For me, Honestly, I mean, yeah. to me, I would would have heard that. I probably would say that would be in my top two or three on this one. That's a that's definitely a sleeper. It's hard to say because. There are the feeling it's the politics as usual. Those ones, but all of them. I mean, but I say I would put that one in my top two or three, though. Yeah, I ain't mad at it. I ain't um, mad at it. All right, we'll go ahead and roll to the next track. This is track number twelve, Cashmere Thoughts, produced by Clark Kent again. Here we go, Clark. Let's go. Track twelve, Cashmere Thoughts. Uh oh. Some more Clark. <laughs> If I had your hand, I'd turn mine in. That sounds good. Sound if man. I had your hand, I'd cut mine off. Ha, well, man, you know, man. I'm just dealing in whole money, you know. Whole money, slow money, but it's show money, man. Check this out, nigga. You run up on your bitches. What's what you tell them? Stick their hands in their hands. I like this guy, man. Uh, Stick their hands in their hands. Clark, bring Yeah. Like yeah. Oh. I talk Jews and spinning thoughts to think those type similar. Hip hop me, me spunk. Yeah, that's what that is. Moving in Persian rugs, cashmere chromosomes. Yeah. The nigga jigger Jay Z float like fine wine down your. It's got a lot of influence in this song, man. Reggae, hip hop, funk. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 good. And listen to him. Yeah. <laughs> so his voice is Lennon. Yeah. <laughs> you take a breath yet? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Errol Flynn, Young they do the Errol Flynn. I gotta keep your tricks Nobody intact. Cause Flynn. I walk like a pimp, talk like a mad man. This no play. Hey, you yeah, see how they dropped that bass, yeah. took that bass out, and then Show dropped it back on. So why should it change the night? Yeah, I like that. Your peeps, dog. I'm leaping to the main right. <laughs> All right, that is Cashmere Thoughts, track number 12. What did you think about that one, Dad? Uh, that was just, that was such a rich song to me. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, like I said, it had so many influences in there. It sounds sort of like this uh, song that used to uh, be on uh, radio, Blackie, Don't Call Me, uh, what, oh, something, it was Whitey, Don't Call Me, N-word, Blackie, don't call me something like that. Uh, no, they used to play that on the radio all the time, <laughs> man. It was, it's kind of reminded me of that a little bit. Blackie, don't call me. That's uh, Whitey, don't call me. It was like, Blackie, Whitey, don't call that me. Uh, Whitey, don't call oh, me. Shit. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. <laughs> you found it. I didn't know they had no video. Well, that ain't no video of it, I don't think. What is this? Don't call me. Slide the Family Stone. Damn, that's who They used to play this on the radio? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) 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 Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what that song I heard that in that song. I'm dead. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Slide the Family Stones. Okay. Slide, slide was crazy, man. Slide was just, was a slide. <laughs> I mean, that that was a popular song for a minute. Uh, yeah, that, that's crazy that they would play that on the radio because it was during the times of the Vietnam War okay, and all yeah, that. It was a lot of racial t- tensions, tensions and stuff and like stuff, that. Yeah. yeah, so that's that's how that. that that came about. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you heard in that I, from that that was it I the guitar that, riff. I don't know what it was. Reminded you of I, that. I, I kind of like. I heard kind of like the uh, the the melody of it kind of mm-hmm. in that song. Mm-hmm. 
It's in there. Yeah. It's in there. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and roll to the next track. This is Bring It On, track 13. This is featuring Sauce Money and Jazz O. And this is uh, produced by DJ Premier. Right. Then, like, man, like, bro. So Nas had Premier all over his joint. Um, Jay's, really? Jay's got Premier, Clark Kent. Like, tch, it's just crazy. Like, look... Looking back, like hindsight being twenty twenty, I'm sure mm-hmm. these, I'm sure these guys. I mean, they were they were coming up, but they they weren't who they who are they are now. Today. Right, yeah, right, yeah. right, right. But it's like, dang, like you was all this creativity, and legends. Talent in Y'all it. are legends before they were legends. Well, you know, it's similar to like the jazz scene. Uh-huh. I mean, if you look back mm. in the in the beginnings of you know the modern day jazz era, mm-hmm. uh, all these guys. You know that were they, they were like that that are there that grew to be giants. Mm-hmm. They all once played with one another. Right, right, you right. Know, like your Stanley Clarks, mm-hmm. and, you know guys like that. And they uh, and and then uh, 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 Miles Davis, Stanley Clark. Uh, you know, you just go on and go on. And then you look at these guys; they got careers of their own that they were just giant right. jazz artists right. you know, on their own. So it's like they yeah. were like mag like magnets to each other because they were. They had that skill and talent, and they right. just all, you know, it's probably inspired each other to just keep elevating and yeah. keep going. And yeah, yeah, because like if you look on the back of like a, a Miles Davis uh, album mm-hmm. cover uh, on the back of it, and you start looking at all the people that were playing on it, you're like, damn, he had his own album. He got his own, right, he had his right, own, right, own right. career. He had his own career. He had his own career. Everybody just blew up. Miles Davis is fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, We'll go ahead and move into track 13. Bring it on. Sauce Money, Jazzo, Jay-Z. Here we go. Sauce Money. <laughs> Sauce Money. Okay. What you bet, babe? I don't even know. Yo, I had nothing. Yo, you got the money, man. You asked me. Shit is right down. Shit is right down. Bullshit, man. We park right behind each other, nigga. I'm going to get the chill before I stay. Cheese. What do you got to go back? <laughs> Chili cheese first. <laughs> hey, yo, Jay. Hey, yo, Jay. Hey, yo, Jay. Hey, yo, Jay. Fucking talking that comeback that's shit. Like that's like crap. We would say to somebody. Yeah, front, I want my that's what cracks like me up, man. You know what I'm saying? That's got front the road, we right. go back. It's coming like up, man. We'll be done. Like, like, chili red. cheese, baby. With no <laughs> trace of age. We keep our pockets fully blown. Rocker from the click, nigga. Hey, yo, we patting down pussy from Sugar Hill to the shop. Whoa. Car. Fuck a bitch, D in the mark car. We got the bad bitches gasping for air and aspirin. Searching for aspirin when mm. I ask in. We that swing. That got a kind of jazzy feel, too. Yeah, thing yeah thing DJ wait. Premier is always going to come with that jazzy sound, for sure. Best style, the Beijing. East Coast host is hostile, colossal, money flip. All right, he's sampling Fat Joe here. I don't think Jay-Z ever beefed with Fat Joe, though. So oh, okay. I think we're good. Yeah. We're good on this one. Cool that you sample all these rappers to uh man and rhythms of a young body the Nero spent some like that wisdom and a whip with the Nero crime organized like try to hem my long jeans uptown fame for Jay Z to appear on the scene and meanwhile <laughs> his son dope for y'all to lean the A's on for days on in money make the world go around so we made some to spend can I live this mm. dope with my next dividends flow like the Mississippi rib looking jig can't do for dolo had to turn away when Tony killed Manolo that's real mixed fit Tony like Kill Manolo. Thought he was OG oh, man. Johnson. Was whack, I played him like Benny Blanco. Mano a mano. 25 grams. Wouldn't expect y'all to understand this money. Do the knowledge. So we can't the even dollars. understand the money. He just be like mentally destroying his, his, his foes. Yeah, yeah, he's for sure. sure. <laughs> and it's kind of condescending. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's what he's definitely doing. <laughs> he's definitely <laughs> doing that. Wow. Woo! Classic stuff right there. Yeah. You can see. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, sir. Let's bring it on. Track number 13. What do you think about that one, Dad? Really good song. Um, I won't say... Uh, 
I want to say it's an interesting twist to this album because, hell, the album is so versatile. Mm -hmm. It don't even surprise me that it did this, <laughs> you know, with a, like a jazzy tune. Mm -hmm. Really, really good. Yeah. Um, nice touch with Fat Joe. Mm -hmm. um, the production was just spot on. Love that. Look. And Jay Z is just killing his lines, killing, killing. I mean, he's just like, <laughs> it's one uh, part in there that I caught, and I thought, damn it, this one right. I think that's it. Joe's Papa Fleet Dreams. No, that's not it. I can't remember which one it was now, but it was one. And I said, "Wow, that's that's classic." It might have been up in there somewhere. Yeah, this one caught my eye right up here when he was talking about Tony Kilpanolo for one. I was like, "Oh damn, he's calling out some stuff." Well, I think that's from a movie. Yeah, is it uh, Tony Montana? Kind of oh, from the Scarface. When he saw his sister behind his back, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's always uh, mentioning gangster movies like uh, Scarface, uh, Godfather, mm -hmm. oh, excuse me, Sopranos and stuff like that. It's kind of cool. Yeah. It makes you want to like watch, like, <laughs> like watch whatever movie he's talking about so right. you understand the, the storyline of what he's like, exactly. comparing it to, yeah. Uh, mannerism of a young Bobby De Niro's. Spent Spanish wisdoms in a wit with De Niro, crime organized like the Pharaoh. Oh man, he's going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and move on. Yeah, but they, oh, this one right here, that got me too, because we used to hear my pants when they were too long. Oh. <laughs> when he said, Brooklyn, the Queens, got to keep my steam. Niggas want to try to hem my long jeans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the trip, man. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, oh man, this damn. That cramp is crazy. See, you remember <laughs> that day sore. I was over here and I was talking about my cramp? Yeah. Yeah, dude, I'm <laughs> telling you, man. Them damn them calf muscle oh, the cramps. The worst, the worst, the worst. Okay, we'll go ahead and move to the next track. This is track number 14. It's titled Regrets, and this is uh, produced by Peter Panic. Peter uh, Panic. Peter Panic. That's a cool, <laughs> cool producer day. All right, cool. Uh, it's catchy. Yeah, this is his first one on this album. So here's Regrets, number 14. Okay. I sold it all from crack to OPM and third person. I don't want to see him. So I'm rehearsing with my people's how to GM oh. from okay. a remote location in the BM. Scoping the whole situation. The bass player is like killing it, dude. Metamorphic as the dope turns to cream. But one of these buyers got eyes like a Korean. A boy it's on difficult to read him. The windows to his soul were half closed. I put the key in. Pulled off slow. Hoping my people flee in. Chink try to knock the only link that <laughs> tied me in. Cobbers was watching us through nighttime binoculars. This time they got us on tape exchanging dope for dollars. Make me wanna holler back at the crib of the sauna. Praying my people bailed out like time warner. Awaiting <laughs> from his kin. Not yeah, the core and a phone in my hand. Nervous can find to a corner. Beads of sweat, second thoughts on my mind. Hot rock bottom. No answers to these trick questions. No time shit stressing. <laughs> my life found. I got to live for the right now. Time waits for no man. Yeah. Can't turn back the hands once That's it's what too he late. Did. Gotta learn to live. Live yeah, for right now. Used to hold me, told me that I was the best. Anything in this world I want, I could possess. All that made me want is all that I can get in order to survive. Gotta learn to live with regrets. Wow. When I was young, you used to hold me, told me I was the best. Anything in this world I want, I could possess. All that made old niggas fronting like they big willy, but really old niggas hold niggas. This year I show Whoa. niggas think I'm slipping. I'm about to send you a roommate. No bullshitting. <laughs> <laughs> My hustle's going too well to hit him. You was right, niggas want you to be miserable with them. Anyway, I ain't trying to hear it. I think I'm touched. This whole verse, I've been talking to your spirit a little too much. This is the number one rule for your set. Yeah. In order to survive, gotta learn to live with regrets. Number one, one rule for your set. Many drop, don't forget. In order to survive, gotta learn to live with regrets. This is the number one rule for your set. In order to survive, gotta learn to live with regrets. If you watch travels, we get separated. Never forget. In order to survive, gotta learn to live with regrets. This is the number one rule for your 
you said in order to survive gotta learn to live with regrets on the rise to the top many drop don't forget in order to survive yep. gotta learn to live with regrets yeah, to the top, and he drop. Yeah. In order to survive, gotta learn to live with yeah. regrets. If you watch travels, we get separated. Never forget, in order to survive, gotta learn to live with regrets. All right, that is true. Did he just say at the end, Rockseller, y'all? Rockefeller. Oh, Rockefeller. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he said Rockseller, y'all. That's, I was like, what? Yeah, that would be. <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> yeah, well, he's on rock, so he did. Said, uh, <laughs> that's what I thought he said. <laughs> that's funny. Track fourteen regrets. What do you think about that one? It was a nice song, man. I like the beat. I like the flow. He he's he's talking. He's telling a story, mm-hmm. and I the, the story was interesting, you know. And he's he he said he well, like you said, he he told everybody. I already told y'all everything. Mm-hmm. So he's telling. This is part of his what he's telling people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think this is another rule to, you know, the, what he went through at least, you yeah. know, learning to live with the regrets uh-huh. and the, the things that... The rule for every set mm-hmm. that you got to learn to live with regrets. It's facts. just like, and it's so catchy too, yeah, you know. Facts, so, facts. Yeah, So yeah. that's pretty good, I thought. And yeah. I thought I like the beat, the, the, um, the keyboard player and the... Um, that bass, yeah, that I bass, love how man. intentional they were with yeah, that, that bass, bass and the like, keyboard. And the bass was like it was kind of talking to you. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, okay, that was sweet. Yeah, that was cool. That's that was actually cool. the outro to the to the album right there. That's uh, the last track. Uh, so that concludes. That was the last track. That's the last track. There are some bonus tracks that they uh, like added later, but that's the last of the. Uh, oh, I see. Regular album. Okay. Um. So yeah, that. What'd you think about uh, Jay Z's debut album, Reasonable Doubt? Is it a is it as a classic as as the people say it is? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. When you told me when you you saw my reaction when you said, "Oh, we're gonna do Jay Z," and I was like, <laughs> "I don't feel like doing it." Da, da, that big production kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, 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 he does like a, like that song, New York. Okay. In yeah. New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's not really Jay Z, but I, I. Well, that's not really Jay Z. I mean, it is Jay Z, but, but it's, it's like, not really him. I see what yeah, you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, see, I, I don't know. Cause that's I, your perception. Yeah, that, yeah. But we've heard Jay Z albums. I know, so. I know, but still, <laughs> man, I was thinking. Nah, I didn't know which way he was gonna come. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. So that's that's the reason why. And I was like, uh, this right here, mm-hmm. definitely a classic. Definitely, definitely a must-have mm-hmm. if you got a hip hip hop collection. Mm-hmm. Man, this one goes up to the top. Bro. This is for sure one yeah. of them top tier. Yeah. Nobody's topping reasonable doubt, bro. Yeah. This is gonna stay. This is gonna be here for that, a that, long time. That was so so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's yeah. I have to say, nah, yeah, it has to be one of the best I've heard. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely up there. It's definitely up there. Um, one of the best. A lot of people was going to put like this in like the top 10 hip hop albums of all time, mm-hmm. for sure. So that was that's nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, cool. I'm glad you enjoyed uh, Reasonable Doubt. I love that album, and I also gained a new appreciation for some of the other songs that uh, I don't always rush to listen to when I listen to this album. So this is definitely going to be in rotation. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also, drop a comment and let us know what's your favorite song from Reasonable Doubt and what should we react to next. Turn your post notifications so you're notified every single time we drop a new video. Mm-hmm. And if you like our videos but you want to see the uncut, unedited versions, then check out our Patreon. The link is in the description. Till next time. Peace. Peace.